Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your June 2018 reading. This is Pisces Moonbeam with Radco Tarot and this reading is for all Sagittarius sun signs, moon signs, and rising signs. So what we got going on with you astrology wise is the sun and Mercury, the planet of communication, is now in your seventh house in Gemini focusing on love and relationships and contractual partnerships and we have venus the planet of love and relationships in cancer for the first half of the month uh in your eighth house you know transformation other people's resources definitely a lot of intimate issues dealing with the eighth house so this could be an intense month in regarding other people and how we handle them so Let's take a look. Oh, the cards are falling. And let's see what we got. Okay, so we got yin and yang, the sun, and action. All right, Sagittarius. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the world so let's see what I'm getting here is that this is a time of great balance for you that you're coming into uh, definitely could be in relationships finding that match uh, the Sun uh, new beginnings in this deck that are inspired by healthiness it looks like there could be a new way of lifestyle, sort of bringing balance into your lifestyle, but I see this more as an idea that's uh, being birthed here and you taking it into action. And the world here on this deck, the, the shadow card, the way I see this card is that you've been in the dark for a long time and you've been searching for what will make you happy on many levels. Saturn has just moved into your house of finances and uh, I think that uh, being in your second house uh, in Capricorn it's made you have to become a little bit more serious than you usually are and there may have been some things that have not been working out for a while and you've been feeling kind of down uh, maybe like you don't really know where to go and where to where you fit in right now being such a different sign and um, I think things might be turning around especially with this yin and yang card so let's pull some more cards and see what we got for clarification uh, about this yin yang sun and action card Sagittarius let's see Jupiter is in your 12th house, the house of the higher mind, and Jupiter is the planet of blessings, so let's see what's going on there, since uh, Jupiter is your ruler, you could be inspired now, um, and bringing something that you were thinking of doing behind the scenes that nobody really knows about, uh, that you could have been keeping secret for a while, and bringing it into light. So, we got the Ace of Raphael, beautiful card, just put that there, the Star, the Two of Gabriel, new partnerships, that's for sure, the Four of Raphael, New beginnings. All right, and at the bottom of the deck here, we've got the four of Ariel. So we'll go into those in a minute. Now, from what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, let me just uh, try and adjust the setting so that 
you can see the cards and everything over here with the camera. Okay, there's some issues here. Give me two seconds. Okay, so from what I'm getting here with the Ace of Raphael, you know, it says a positive new emotional experiences, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. And then you have the star, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So it looks like, you know, something new emotionally definitely is starting up here for you um, that can bring you a sense of fulfillment. And there's a lot of hope and inspiration here with this star card. And like I said, it could be building for a while, something that you've been keeping in the dark that now is coming to light. And I would look out for a special someone here. If not, um, if you haven't met the person, then you know you should be meeting them soon where it says, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So that's kind of funny how the star ended up over the sun. <laughs> the ace over the yin and yang and the two over the two horses and we have two people here depicted on this card so to me what i'm getting is that um you're gonna run into somebody they might be a little bit different than you but they definitely do share your vision and they do share the fire because you know you're full of so much fire sagittarius that you know this could be a new working relationship or it could be a new love relationship. Let's uh, go a little bit further and see what we got. Now, here we have the four of Raphael. Now, it says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So, as I was saying, there could have been a time where you've been feeling recently like you're not really sure where you belong and things have been feeling really dark, whether it's been boredom or a feeling like you have to adhere to a certain code of conduct uh it seems like certain things might have run stale or like you weren't able to find the magic because uh back to the shadow card here from this deck you've been looking at the world through a dark filter whereas normally sagittarius is full of you know hope and inspiration so, um, following this four of Raphael, once you can, you know, get your emotions in order, um, there is the new beginnings card and the new beginnings card, this is very much like the judgment card in the tarot deck where it says, uh, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So whatever might have been getting you down here with this card, uh, you know, there's still other shells. She's just looking at the shells where she doesn't look very pleased with what she sees, but it's not the end of the world. This four is about stability. So there's a new idea um, that starts with the ace and it moves along with the star and the two. And then, you know, not everything is perfect. So you, it might not be working out exactly the way you want it to, but um, it will eventually lead to new beginnings one way or another where you are starting a new life, finding your purpose. So this could be, you know, about a relationship where you meet somebody and it starts off like, you know, really amazing and you're feeling all these emotions and it's very you know secretive or maybe you're keeping it secret and you don't want to let people know about it and then you, you do and you let it come to light and that's when you know reality hits or maybe you've been in this relationship for a while and you know we're start you're starting to see the reality of it now which is leading to the four where you know you're not so pleased but um if this is a relationship use mercury now in gemini where you can seek out your other options as well uh they're there in front of you you just have to be brave enough to look at them and explore and the new beginnings will come one thing about this card is you really never know what you're gonna get because it is the the karma card where People are rising above and someone's coming up from the sky to, 
let you know if you pass the test or where you go next. So at the end of the day, um, whether you passed or not, or whether you go onto this road or that road, you do go onto something else. And um, at the bottom of the deck here, we have the four of Ariel. And that says, when you give, you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. So the way I see this card, um, this is the Sun in Capricorn card, and you have Saturn in Capricorn right now. So there might be some feelings of restriction when it comes to fun and how you're having a good time and you might be feeling like you know you have to buckle down or maybe there's been some issues with finances and uh, you've had to figure out a way to get behind this barrier that brings you to the beautiful landscaping so that could be here with the ace of Raphael with this new idea and new connection and there could be um, a partnership coming in here that can help you deal with um, the issues of possible inconsistency and finding that stability. But I really do believe that there's an idea that has sparked or a new love that has sparked that will bring you um, newfound satisfaction and new feelings of happiness. Let's get some more cards out here let's pull some tarot cards for Sagittarius let's see you know let's get some cards out see what else we have to say tell me more about this new beginning here that's what I'd really like to focus on if I can get some clarification please for the new beginnings what kind of new life what kind of purpose here are you doing Sagittarius what's going on with you because there's definitely new birth to something whether it's a child whether it's an idea a business relationship and I really feel that um, this is an idea but um, it's something that you're moving on and it's going to change your life so let's see how this is going to change your life this month for June okay well if that isn't obvious, I don't know what is. Definitely emotional. Oh, back to the one again. And death. Okay, so <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. All right, okay. Sagittarius. A lot of emotions here. This is the end of an old cycle here that's coming to an end. You are starting to see things in new ways. Definitely new love here with the Two of Cups where you're meeting somebody um, that does mirror you and share the same vision and bringing all of these new ideas um, to the table and these new feelings a chance to really start over again and that's um, ironic because so far I've been pulling some duplicate cards in my readings from different decks so here we have the ace of Raphael which is similar here to the ace of cups it says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. And here we have the death card. So um, I think this card is here to let you know that there will be a change coming and not to get so wrapped up necessarily in the ideas of love and try to, you know, remain grounded. What's really calling me here is the fact that the sword is pointed to the ground um, and stay grounded, you know, because at the end of that, we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck and the two of cups underneath it. 
and justice. So it looks like some things might not have worked out in your favor. And you've been doing a lot of balancing acts for a while. Sorry about that. Where you've had to take on so many things. And it has led you to the Page of Cups. Where not only are you newly inspired. But there could be a whole new person coming into your life here. And that could also... Um, you could have met this person already, Sagittarius. You could already be in a relationship right now and that relationship is about to change it's not going to be easy there will be some transformations here but the way i see the death card is that um with every ending come new beginnings so if this is a relationship okay so yeah this is what I was thinking, and this is what I was feeling. I just didn't want to say it, but I pulled another card. So here we have the Empress after the Death card. So um, I believe that for some of you in your relationships, there will be new birth, new life. This could be, even this page card here at this point could represent a child at the bottom of the deck. Um, whether it's birth to a new idea, whether you're taking relationships here, from, let's get these cards on camera here, from the Two of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Two people together creating something here that's very emotional. Bringing in the Death card, um, a change here on the path, a new direction. But again, like I said, the sword is pointing down. So to me, that's like, you know, keep your feet on the ground. Don't let yourself get carried up too much in these emotions because there is a lot here and this is a sign to me the moon of completions of a cycle and here's a new one starting and then here we have the death it's going okay wait a second things are going to change a little bit so when I saw the page of cups at the bottom of the card I was like all right this could be a new person coming in or this could be new ideas of love but I did see the death card as a positive card and after the death card we do have the empress so this could mean pregnancy for a lot of people. Um, this could this is fertility. This could be marriage. This could be joining together in business. This is uh, you know an amazing, beautiful card where not just you know love and lavish and beauty, but fertility and abundance, but also long lasting. This card represents the mother and, and mother nature. So. There's definitely be, been a change here for you in regards to Mother Nature, in regards to your relationships, and, um, you know, it just, this is a tough call, but there could be some pregnancy here for you Sagittarians. So, we asked the question for clarity on new beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So here it is, the new life. Two of Cups, partnerships, bringing new ideas, new emotional situations, a change in direction and a transformation leading to the Empress a beautiful, beautiful card. We know what this card represents. And at the bottom of it all, the Page of Cups. So in this cup this person is holding, there could be some news here that you receive that is really emotionally fulfilling. So it could be some intuition as well. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like in the love department, things are looking really well for you guys Sagittarius it looks like you're finding that balance here um, because things did not work out necessarily in your favor and you have been looking at the world through dark dark filters and now it looks like things are coming back together for you it really looks like you put in the work Sagittarius we're gonna pull one last card I know this reading went a little bit longer than the other ones but I really wanted to dig in here um, it's quite interesting 
beautiful new beginnings here, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see the final card to crown this reading for June of 2018. The card fell out. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So again, that could go back to this two of Gabriel. Meeting a new person. Or it could be the two of cups card. Or it could be both. But since it fell out, we're going to pull one more. I take that as a message. If someone's been calling you... If someone's been reaching out to you, Sagittarius, you know, uh, reach out. Can't hurt. And the card we have for you to finish off this reading is watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So very emotional can definitely bring up some fears. Definite new beginnings are here because with new ideas here at the top of the reading with the sun card and the yin and yang and action it can bring up fears when things move really quickly especially if you do receive that emotional news that takes your relationship to the next level especially if you are dealing with you know this two of cups one of cups death and empress situation you know this this can all be beautiful so watch your thoughts um you want to keep them clean and you want to keep them pure uh, because sometimes, you know, we can attract what we put out there. And Sagittarius, you're a very lucky sign. This is a time of new beginnings. Um, the North Node, I just want to say one last thing. The North Node is in Leo. The South Node is in Aquarius. So for you, Sagittarius, the astrology here would basically mean that the North Node is in the ninth house for you, and that's where you are. And the ninth house is about everything that is Sagittarius. New starts, new beginning, finding your purpose, philosophy, religion, higher education. And here, you know, this person's coming up, or this angel, and there's people there moving on. And I do see a family, uh, but that's not the point. The point that I was trying to get at is that Yes, you could be starting a family, but for every Sagittarius, it's going to be a new beginning month here. Um, there's a cycle here. You just had a full moon in your sign. So with this full moon comes new beginnings as well. So I wish you all the best of luck, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful month, and I will see you soon.